Hey there, everyone. Steve Olenueva here. We continue to track Hurricane Idalia. Idalia made a landfall around 8 a.m. early this morning in the Big Bend of Florida. Now the storm system is weakening now that it's on land. And in fact, it's crossing the state line right now into southern Georgia. Still producing some very heavy rain right there, right around Valdosta in Georgia. Still seeing some gusty winds as well. There's the eye, but it is collapsing now that the storm is on land and getting dramatically weaker. Category 1 hurricane as of 11 a.m. Winds of 90 miles an hour. It came ashore as a Cat 3 with winds of 125. Moving very quickly to the northeast at 20. As we head into the next couple of hours, it works its way across the state of Georgia into the Carolinas, where it becomes a tropical storm as we head into tomorrow morning. And then after that, it works its way out into the Atlantic. Now, in addition to Adalia, we also have Franklin right there. Franklin's going to work its way up into the North Atlantic won't bother anyone. In fact, it's staying just to the north of Bermuda. Now we also have tropical depression 10 right there. That's going to be very short lived. And we also have two waves that we're watching this one right here. This one has a 10% chance of development and another wave coming off of Africa near the Cabo Verde Islands. That one has a moderate chance of developing closer to home. Live look outside Vero Beach. It is very windy across South Florida. We are on the south side of the storm system, but it is going to stir up the winds and it's also going to bring us some afternoon showers and storms right now temperatures 80s low 90s but it's feeling much warmer with the humidity right now feeling like 103 in the Palm Beach is feeling like 108 right now into Okeechobee. Now we do have a wind advisory in effect for today where we are going to see wind gusts of 30 to 40 miles an hour. The winds right now out of the south sustained at up to 20, but notice these wind gusts. We're talking wind gusts 30, 35, even 41. So we'll continue to see these strong winds for the next few hours. And then once the sun sets, the winds will start to back on off. It stays breezy, it just won't be as windy as it is right now. Rain chances through Friday do stay on the higher side simply because we still have a lot of tropical moisture sitting on top of us, but much drier air comes in just in time for the holiday weekend. At the moment, we're dry, but notice a couple of showers developing just to the north of Bell Glade. That right there is a tornado watch. That is not in effect for us, but for us, we could see a few stronger storms, especially into the Treasure Coast. We do have a marginal chance of seeing severe weather there. Viper Cash shows that as we head into the next couple of hours, We'll have some scattered storms move through. Nothing too widespread. It won't rain all of the times, but when it does, some of the storms could produce very heavy rainfall and some damaging winds. Not a good idea to go boating. Small craft advisory in effect. Seas at 5 to 10 feet. And in fact, as we head into the weekend, we will see the surf stay with us. As we head into the next couple of days, you can see those temperatures on the warm side, but much improved as we head into the holiday weekend.